Hi guys, so today we're going to be talking about some of the items from Kiko's Valentine's collection which is called Matt About You. Now, slightly bizarrely, I've just went on the website trying to find half these products and I can find pictures of them in like the PR stuff for the collection but a lot of them aren't actually listed on the site anymore so I don't really know what's happening with that but I'm still going to put this review up because if they've sold out that quickly there's a chance of them, you know, becoming like bid for items on eBay. So I figure it's more important to know whether they're good or not. So what we're going to be reviewing is the multicolor blush and the lipsticks, as well as the soft touch lip color. Now you can see they've went for this really cute packaging, and everything's actually wrapped in tissue inside the box as well and the writing says things like love, romance, passion, kisses, it's all very cute, it's all very valentines. Now there were also matte nail polishes, I'm not really into that, and also a brush, but after my last Kiko brush experience I wasn't really feeling spending another 14-15 pounds on one of their brushes. So let's start with the blush, because as you probably guessed I don't have any blusher on today. So. All wrapped in tissue. This is would be a gorgeous gift if you can get hold of it. Um, I'm going to go into the Kiko shop and check the prices because I couldn't check them online. I've lost my receipt. So the packaging is then silver and again has the love, heart, kisses, romance, passion um, written on it. And the shade name given to this is Loving Pink Flame. So it's got a little button to press to open it. And then it's got the free shades, again hearts, and again it's got that script on it. So it is all really, really cute. So we've got three different shades in here. Um, we've got this kind of lilac-y colour, which is very light. In fact, did that even really transfer on me? It's very, very light. We've got the deeper pink in the heart with the script, which is very nice. And then we've got the background, which is more of a peachy pink. Now, with this, you would probably have a bit of a struggle trying to pick out individual colours. It's probably a bit of a swirl together type of a deal. Certainly that's what I'm planning on doing with it. Um, so I've got my brush and I'm just going to tap about. Now, this isn't overly powdery, which is nice. And then just get that on the apples of my cheeks. So it's coming off as a very, very cute pink Flush, I do like that, very nice. And there's a nice mirror in this compact as well. Okay, I really like that. Now, today we're going to be testing the lipsticks. Um, I'm going to test the soft touch lip colour another time, either tomorrow or later today I guess, depending on how long lasting these are. Now I got two shades, so I'll show you both and then we'll choose which one we're going to wear today. <clears throat> so again, all wrapped in tissue paper. It feels very special, which I like. And again, silver. This is quite a weighty feeling, good quality container. It's really cute. So this is shade one. Whoop, it doesn't want to open. What? Yikes. Okay, it's got a bit of a screw on it, that's why. Okay. So this is kind of a plummy natural colour, and as you can see, it's heart-shaped. So let's try and get a little heart-shaped swatch. No, that's not gonna work. I need to drag it to get a swatch. So nice kind of plummy shade. That's weird screwing lipstick actually, like open and closed. That'll take a bit of getting used to. But it's never going to come loose in your bag and that is a good thing. So this is shade 4. Much easier to open now that I know how to do it. And this is a deep vampy berry red. Um, I think we're going to be trying this out today because I don't know, it's just what I feel like wearing. So let's get this on. Now I'm very interested to see how the heart shape does with like doing your cupid's bow. It's either going to make it really easy or kind of awkward. 
So let's zoom in so that you guys can see. So <laughs> that's quite that looks quite cute actually. Um I don't know how I feel about the heart shape. Part of me wants to be able to use the other end of the heart because it's a single point, but it's the down bit on the slope. So that's a bit weird. Hmm. I'm finding this slightly awkward, I have to say, actually. I'm working a bit more sideways than anything else. <laughs> and I smudged with my finger. It's a really nice colour though. It feels quite moisturising. So the time just now is 11.35 so we will see how this will wear and I will do some check-ins throughout today and if it does wear off before I'm heading out um, we will try this soft lip pen which I will just show you while I've got all the swatches on my hand anyway. So this has got a bit of lilac tissue paper. Um, this is an interesting product, I've never seen anything like this before, so it's got the colour in the bottom there so that you can see and it's actually got you know, a kind of sponge applicator and it just goes on very soft like a stain. Um, I think this could be a very interesting product, especially if they brought out lots more colours. I think it would make for a really easy ombre lip, but we will test that properly later. So there are my swatches. Here is my face and I will come back to do a check-in in a bit. Okay, so I am back for a check-in. It's now 10 to 2, so it's been a little bit over two hours. Blush is still looking really cute and I added a bit of highlight, but um, the lips, let's just zoom in. They still look okay, um, but close up there's kind of patching and cracking and it's, it's not that cute. Um, yeah. So, let's zoom out again. So at the moment it looks like I would get maybe two hours of wear out of that before I would probably want to touch it up because I wouldn't want to be looking like that. Um, so, I haven't even really been doing anything, I haven't eaten anything, I've only had a little bit, like a couple of sips of juice um, and it's already worn down like that. It is a very moisturising, nice feeling formula which in general you're not going to get as much wear out of as something that's matte and quite dry. So I don't think it's a bad thing um, but I would have liked to have seen a little bit more wear out of it. Um, before needing to touch up. So I'm actually just going to quickly touch it up just to kind of see how it layers and then I'm going to go and eat so that we can have an eat test with it. And I will come back once I've had something to eat and we will see. So... Mm. Okay, so it touches up okay. Um, oh, wrong direction. <laughs> um, yeah, it touches up fine because it's a nice creamy moisturising formula. I was kind of expecting that. So I am going to go and eat and come back. So I'll zoom out first because going from that face to full face is kind of weird. Um, so yeah, I'm actually eating leftover pizza because I'm, I'm classy. Um, so see you in a bit. <laughs> Okay, so I'm back. <laughs> I finished my old pizza. Um, this actually seems to have survived eating a lot better than just being worn. 
Um, so let's zoom in. So there's a tiny bit of patching on the very inside and I've got a little bit of transfer outside. But all in all it's not the worst I've seen after uh, after eating some food. Um, overall I think this is a nice lipstick. Um, I really like the packaging. I really like the fact that it's that cute little heart bullet. Um, the screw thing it takes getting used to but I do think it's going to be more secure in your bag. I think we're just now a little bit spoiled with long-lasting lip formulas now. There's so many liquid lipsticks that will outlast any traditional lipstick and I think we come to have like slightly higher expectations now. Although I remember looking online and finding that the average kind of wear time for a lipstick is about four hours, um, whereas this one was a bit patchy and I wanted to touch it up after two. So it is still kind of below average. So, you know, if, if this was like a permanent line formula, it wouldn't be one that I would go for repeatedly. Um, I would love if they started using this packaging for some of their other formulas, which I do really like. Um, but at the moment, that's not in the uh, goodbye list. So, sorry guys. Especially for Valentine's, I don't think you would want to wear that on a date. Because um, it would transfer pretty badly. Um, so I'm going to get this off and we're going to try the soft touch um, lip colour, which is this one. See you. Okay, so I've got most of that off. Um, and let's have a go at this guy. Now I will say my lips feel very comfortable, so there is something very bammy and moisturising about that formula. I guess it just depends what you're, you're after. So this is a, a first. Um, hmm. This is weird because I'm not entirely sure where the product's coming from. I feel like it's in the cap and if it's running dry I should be doing this. But I don't know. And my camera is flashing at me that it's memories low. Okay, not the easiest application. I feel like I'm having to go around quite a bit to get a decent colour payoff. Um, it's definitely not a quick one swipe and go product. But I do think if they made different colours of this, it would be very easy to do an ombre. Um, let's try and sharpen that up a little bit. But it's, it's a nice subtle uh, stain and it's quite a good way of applying a stain actually because it feels dry pretty much as soon as it goes on. Um, so let's see if it continues to behave, <laughs> behave like a stain um, in terms of wear. So the time just now is 10 past 2 and I will do some check-ins um, and see how this behaves throughout the day. Okay, so this lip colour is actually settling and looking prettier and prettier. So that's cool. Um, I thought I would do a quick check-in just before I leave. It's 20 to 5. So this has been on for about two and a half hours now and it's looking good. Um, I did check the website. There is actually apparently two colours of this. But only one showing on the website, which is a pale pink, completely different to one I have. Um, and this was the only one that was in the shop when I was in, so confusion. Um, hopefully they'll get the website a bit more updated so that we can see all of it. Um, Price-wise, I forgot to mention this is £6.90. Hard for me to judge whether that's going to be good value for money because I literally have no idea how long this is going to last because the product is down here and it's a powder, which... It's very difficult for me to judge how long a powder lip product is going to last because it's not the kind of lip product I'm used to, maybe? Anyway, I am going to go and watch some ice hockey, um, maybe buy a little bit or two for the 
500 subscriber giveaway whenever we manage to get to that. Um, in particular, I'm buying a makeup bag to put it all in so that I can keep it all together and keep track of it. Um, but I will be back later. Uh, blusher, still looking adorable. Still in love with that. Um, catch you guys soon. Okay, so final check-in. It is now 25 to 11. Uh, so this product has been on for, what, nine hours now? Um, I actually feel like it's almost been getting darker. Um, my lips are a little bit dry, but to be honest, I'm thinking that's slightly more to do with the uh, rough way I took off the first lipstick. Because uh, it's just in here. And top lip's fine. But it's very pretty. And it's transfer proof. And overall... Um, I would say that this is an absolute winner. Um, I'm hoping I get a reasonable amount of uses out of it given that it's $6.90, but it's really pretty, it's really comfortable, it's really natural looking. Um, I might go and look for that other colour because I do think that this would be such an easy way to do an ombre lip. Um, it is a definite winner. So the blusher is also a winner. Um, I still haven't managed to find the price of this. I believe off the top of my head it was about the £15 mark. Which is a little bit steep. It's about the same as a MAC blush. There is 8 grams in here though. And I think the compact is absolutely adorable. I would be tempted to try and repress loose powder into this if I ever finish it. Because I just love the whole heart, love, kisses, romance, passion. Um, I don't know, I just like it. I'm soppy. So at the moment these are the winners. The lipsticks. They just weren't anything special apart from the packaging and the fact that they're heart shaped. Love the colour. If I could find that colour in a different formula I'd be really happy. I think we're just really spoiled now with there being so many really long wearing formulas on the market that when you get a lipstick like this that just, well it performs like a standard lipstick which shouldn't be a bad thing but it's now so outstripped by other products. So that overall is my opinion on the items I got from this collection. Um, I'm assuming the other lipstick is going to perform the same as this one. And yeah, so we've got two goodbyes and two just kind of eh. Um, if you have any questions about any of these products, anything that I've missed, leave me a question down below in the comments and I will get back to you and I will make sure it's a point that I don't miss in any future videos. And I will see you guys later. Bye!